Welcome to the channel. Uh, a little hard for me to focus on just one subject today. So we'll just see what happens. See what we can get a video out of. But we got Waldo here still having trouble breathing. Uh, if you see my podcast, he's, I don't know, doubled his, went and talked to the vet, doubled his dose of Lake Lasix. So we we're just waiting on that to hopefully kick in. Ain't we, boy? We're getting tired of this. We need it to go away. You know, he's bounced back a few times, and then he regresses right back to this. And this is, this isn't good, but I like him to be out here. It's uh, not too cold, not too warm. The air's got to be better for him. And it doesn't help. We got fighter jets going all over the place up here. He he don't like that. He can feel that vibration. Uh, they're not here right now, but hopefully they'll stay gone. Go fly somewhere else. It's a big area. So just waiting to see how he does. Uh, you know, other than his breathing, he's. But I he wouldn't eat a hot dog this morning. I'd take a little peanut butter, put his pill on it rub it on the roof of his mouth. He did not want to open his mouth. Uh, he hasn't had a whole lot of sleep. So I'm just going to let the medicine work. Oh, I really need to find something to do. Keep my mind off of things. Uh, can't burn. It's very uh, high fire risk right now. October... 15th, 2015 is when I had the huge fire that burned all this up. <coughs> so we don't want to do that. I could put the blade on the weed eater and start on that, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because a lot of it next week or next two weeks will die off and that'll be a lot less to cut. And it isn't bothering me right now. Plus, I don't want a bunch of additional dry vegetation laying around. So we'll just leave that for now. Waddles, what you got going on over here with your ladies? They were out in the yard a little bit ago, but you have options now, don't you? He's just sitting there. That, that's his main woman there. She's always with him. Got a couple of eggs in there. I got to get out. And we got Millie down there at the end. There's a lot of things I could be doing. Cleaning up. Just don't have it in me right at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's 1.47 p.m. I just lost my boy. Side of my hands. It hurts. <laughs> All right, I gotta go bury Waldo. Uh, I spent about two and a half hours in here with him, and you know, I was next to him when he passed away, so that part of it was beautiful, but I wasn't expecting this, man, and poor Lily, she knows, she knows, but she's gonna, you know what, he's watching over you and all of us right now, right now he's probably in a big argument with Wally over who's going to be in charge. If you know your brother, okay? I know. And we're going to figure you out. Something nice, yeah. I know. Hasn't hit me. Hasn't hit her yet. All right, my friends. I just spent the last two and a half hours out there laying Waldo to rest. You know... I, it was so much easier on to see him pass away here at home. I mean, it wasn't easy to see him pass away. But he knew when the time was coming. And he and I came in there. I probably spent a couple hours in there with him this morning. 
and you know his breathing it, it, it was bad but he was aware he tried to get up a few times he did go outside i think i got clips of that he did go outside he came back in he was very weak last night took it out of him uh i knew if i took him back to the and he was so weak he was so did not want to leave i could see that in his eyes he did not want to go anywhere and I didn't take him anywhere, and I think he went pretty peaceful. Uh, I was holding his head, you know. I was there, and to me, that was a lot easier to handle than uh, putting him down at the vet, and that's what would have happened had he went. And he was looking straight at, at Lily. You know, he knew he was home. So now he's really home, and... I don't think it's hit me 100%. It's going to take a while, but, uh, you know, I got to celebrate 13 great years with that boy. 12 great years. He was 13, but 12 good years. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have any of this. Uh, so I know people are going to be sad, but, I, you know, he's in a better place, and I believe that. Um uh, I can't go back and look at this camera footage, uh, but if I did, if I could, I bet, I just bet you'd probably see his soul walk right out of his body, and, you know, he's, he's just a good boy, you know, now he's in heaven, and I'm going to go through this with all the rest of them, and I just hope it's a good long time. Now I got four smelly girls, no boys, except Waddles. So, I, I, I am thankful that I decided to do, and I'll, I'll let you know how this has to do with it, that I decided to do this carnivore and lose weight. There was no way in hell I could have dug that grave for him in the shape I was in five months ago. And I've dug, I've dug all the graves for all my dogs, and I know how difficult and how... Lucy took me three days to, to bury her, to dig her grave. And I had his dug in a... I used the auger, but the ground is so hard right now, and, and Arkansas... Digging in Arkansas is horrible. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, but... I got him deep enough, and he's, 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 he's going to rest. Nobody... Nothing bothers him here. I make sure of that... Uh, and we're going to make him a nice memorial. I'm going to make it myself on my machines. Come on. Let's go put this on brother's grave. Good for now. This is just temporary. Rest in peace, my boy. Say hi to Libby, Wally, Lucy, and Lulu. And I'll see you one day.